from L.A. to Piscataway, all Big Ten, all year long. This is Big Ten Ten. What is Nebraska's standing in the Big Ten? That's maybe not a question I thought I'd be asking in mid-April in the year 2024, but in an Omaha World Herald article on Sunday, that is a question that was presented. That was a question that was brought up. So let's dive into the issue. I first want to start with a quote from the article, and then I kind of want to expand and expound from there. Here's a quote from Ted Carter, former president Ted Carter at Nebraska. He's now at Ohio State. Bottom line, improvement in academic and research performance is imperative to our continued membership in the Big Ten, Carter wrote in that December memo to the Board of Regents at the University of Nebraska. It also says in the article that Ted Carter was looking for ways to improve Nebraska's research compared to peers like Ohio State. Obviously, Ted Carter left Nebraska to be the new president at the Ohio State University. Now, this really surrounds what has been happening recently at Nebraska. The Admiral President Ted Carter left. I believe their Chancellor, Ronnie Green, left as well. We know all about Athletic Director Trav Alberts leaving. It all surrounds maybe what's happening within this Board of Regents and what's happening maybe at the higher levels of the University of Nebraska-Lincoln. And the article really focuses on the changes that need to be made. It specifically talks about Nebraska's reinvention plan, which is headlined by getting back into AAU. Those are three letters that Big Ten fans know all too well. Is AAU a requirement? That has not been said the case by the Big Ten office, but maybe behind the scenes it very well may be. Nebraska is not getting kicked out of the Big Ten. It's not happening. You know why? Because nobody's getting picked, kicked out of the Big Ten. I believe this memo from what is now a former president, it sticks out. It's a headline. Absolutely. But I think when you dive into it more, it's a motivation for Nebraska to really get their academics in a row and become a full university. Athletically, Nebraska is probably one of the very best athletic departments in the Big Ten Conference. I know their football has been lagging, and that's something that really needs to step up. No question about it. That needs to get on the next level. But when you look at what their basketball teams recently did, both men and women having maybe two of the best seasons that those respective programs have ever had, Fred Hoiberg signed a new contract. Amy Williams signed a new contract. Volleyball, Nebraska volleyball, is an absolute blue blood in that sport. They packed 90,000 into that stadium. And volleyball in the state of Nebraska is growing at an extremely rapid pace. So the athletic department, Troy Dannon, is stepping into an extremely strong athletic department. If football even gets in the seven win to eight win category every single year, Nebraska is going to be a great place to be. Another reason why Nebraska is really great for the Big Ten right now is that fan base. This is a fan base that I believe is a little bit of a tweener fan base between the Big Ten and the SEC. Bo Nix talked about it in a recent interview when comparing the fan bases at Auburn to where he was, and then at Oregon. Auburn, he talked about football being like a religious experience down there. Of course, a lot more pressure was on him due to his connection. Of course, his dad played there as well. And he says, there is just so much pressure on you down there. Football is at a different level. College football is at a different level in the South. But he said when he was at Oregon, it was still a big deal, no doubt. But there was maybe a little bit more room to breathe, so to speak. Nebraska, football, college football in the state of Nebraska is the show. And it's those passionate fans that I think was a drawing factor for Nebraska to become a Big Ten member in the first place. I highly doubt that 
the Big Ten, either privately or publicly, would kick Nebraska or at least motivate them to maybe view other ventures, whether it's the Big 12 or whether it's the SEC, right? I, I just don't foresee that happening. This seems like a motivational tactic to kind of get things, get all of your academic ducks in a row to try to be on par with some of the other institutions in the Big Ten Conference. Because in 2022, UNL ranked 122nd nationally in federal research funding, competitive dollars that are highly sought after by university that put UNL 17th out of the 18 schools in the soon-to-be-expanded Big Ten ahead of only Oregon, Iowa the next closest. We know Nebraska and Iowa love to compete against each other. Now, Iowa the next closest was far above Nebraska at 55 with nearly three times as much federal funding. So that's a big part of this. I think it's a political motivation for Nebraska to get back into AAU. I doubt that there is any real threat that is posed right now to Nebraska. I think Nebraska brings a lot right now to the Big Ten Conference. So although the headline is big and although the headline scream something, I'm not sure if it's got a lot of vocal depth behind that scream. Thanks for watching Big Ten Ted, where it's all Big Ten all year long. Make sure to like the video to spread the word of Big Ten Ted to the masses and subscribe to the channel for updates on Big Ten content that drops every day.